so exciting. Yay! Nothing exciting about being in the Jeep, but we are going to go get the Wraith. It's been a Selking International for half the day. Yeah. We are adding, or having added, an exhaust brake. So that'll be another little upgrade that we've done, not because it needed it, but because we wanted to make it better. So. Now, I can't take credit for this. I was on the Nexus Facebook group, and uh, his name is Quentin. He mentioned that his Wraith has an exhaust brake, and he was able to do it for about 500 bucks. So I called Selking and started to investigate it, and it's done. We gotta go get it. There she is, yep. right up front. Waiting for us. Got it all paid for, and it actually came out to be cheaper than what they had quoted me. This wasn't something that I could have done myself because they had to install the factory switch and then program the computer. So I can't do programming. Yeah. You could do a switch, but not programming. <laughs> if it was an aftermarket exhaust brake, then yeah, I could have done it. But if it's a matter of just programming, I'm going to do that and just stick with stock OEM stuff. But it came out to be $464.15. They quoted me $487, so I'm happy with that. Yeah. There it is. There's the switch. Oh. Now, this might be slightly annoying because when this screen comes out, it's going to block the switch. But oh, yeah. I'm just going to turn it on and leave it on. And I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> it's working. I'm not sure if you can hear or not. Yeah, I don't know how well it's going to come up on camera, but... We have an exhaust brake. <laughs> it's the small things in life. <laughs> ready to roll out. As you can tell, Piper is in her position, ready to go. <laughs> this is like deja vu. I swear, every time we come to a pilot. We already got fuel. We're stuck. Yeah, these trucks were all like this when we <laughs> pulled in and they are still like this. So we're just gonna eat some snacks and wait. But we're taking a 30 minute break. Yeah. Right. Perfect. set up. We're all by ourselves. You got all your teeth showing, Mike. Right? You okay, Mikey? It's in my boot. <laughs> you know I think you just wanted to sit down. <laughs> this is hard. This right here is why we are really loving the winter camping. Winter camping is absolutely the way to go. Yeah. If you like to go to the more popular parks, then uh, they look more like this. It's very peaceful. We have a place to ourselves. This is actually pretty great. Yeah. This was our site four and a half years ago, the last time we were here. It was August 21st, 2016. And the only reason we know that is because we went back and found our video from when we were here last time. 
Yeah. Ugh. Our old Cringe. videos suck. Cringeworthy to the max. I, I could barely make it through my own video. I had to just skip ahead and see what site we got. It was terrible. Yeah. Don't go and look for that video. Do not. We are not going to link to it. Don't go look for it. It is a terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible video. But if you have seen it, it's a good reminder about how far we've come. <laughs> well, all we did was really go about, what, two, two and a half miles? Yeah, I'd say two and a half miles. And these two dogs are just zonked out. And they better get their rest because tomorrow is going to be a big hiking day. Yeah, lots and lots of hiking tomorrow. Walking on water! You're the chosen puppy! <laughs> it doesn't even look very, very thick. Yeah, it looks so clear. It almost looks like it's just water. It's breaking under my feet. Yeah. You're not the chosen puppy. No, I'm not. Fish. Fish under the ice. Good hike. That was. It kicked my ass. <laughs> it was, uh, we only did 1.55 miles, but uh, lots of elevation climb, and the dogs seemed to really like it, and we stayed away from other people. My one complaint is if you have a dog, keep it on a leash. Yeah, there's been several of those we've seen. Where are you going? The trail's over here, Pipe. Going off-roading. Let's go this way. Ooh, nice little cabin in the woods. Don't get any ideas, Mikey. On to the next hike. We are going to do Rock House next. We just finished up the Cantwell Cliffs, so that was a good time. Yeah, this is a lot of hiking, especially for the dogs, but luckily they get to rest in between because we have to drive from location to location. Yeah, they're like 10 miles apart, 5 miles apart, so. Yeah, I mean, from the campground to Cantwell Cliffs was 8 miles. Yeah. Eight mile drive. And then from Cantwell Cliffs to here was another like seven, six or seven. Six, yeah. I think seven miles.
uphill is definitely getting harder as the day goes on. <laughs> it's so steep. <laughs> we went down most of the way, but now we're paying for it. You ready for this, Mikey? This is, this is probably how it's going to end for me. <laughs> oh. She pulled me up, but man. <laughs> She's ready for more. She loves going uphill. She has no chill. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> there they go. Okay. We're not going up there, guy. That ain't happening. Yeah. And she's off. I don't know how she still has energy. I think these pups are done. And that guy, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't even really see a guy. He's got a little nose buried up in there. <laughs> He's just done. A long day of hiking. But it was great. I oh, loved yeah. all the trails, and I'm actually bummed we didn't start earlier in the day like we had planned. I know. We wanted to do Cedar Falls. Mm-hmm. And, and Whispering. Whispering uh, Cave. Yeah. But, I don't know, that's for next time we come back in yeah. another four years. Yeah. <laughs> it is actually dinner time, and I am making breakfast for dinner. Which is also why I can enjoy myself one of these bad boys. Usually, when I'm making any kind of food, there's a dog with a head right here. These two had such a big day that they don't even care, almost. <laughs> Pipey, you're going for a ride! <laughs> Free ride. I say we better get out of here. Yeah, it's gonna be a long travel day. Yeah, we had a great time at Hocking Hills. I'm surprised it took this long for us to return back, but it overall. Was, it was great. I will say that this winter camping experience has been probably my best camping experience I, in a long time. I agree. And we love summer. Everyone knows that. But I think now we know summer go south winter <laughs> go stay north. north i know that a majority of you guys are probably winterized and it's put away but i highly 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 recommend that you kind of get out of your comfort zone a little bit and do some winter camping or not yeah because we like to camp alone because <laughs> i like it when it's pretty empty so i'm gonna be a little selfish and say Keep them winterized. <laughs> In the past, to make it easy, I've always just blown the lines out with uh, with air and then dump a little bit of antifreeze down in the traps and the drains. That way we could go, like, you know, in the wintertime from time to time. It makes it easy. And I recommend that you guys try it. Do some winter camping. It is great. It is pretty great. So, on that note, we're just going to get on down the road. So, we'll see you guys later. Yep, going to Turkey Run. Yep.